Hi guys. All right, so I told you guys I've been dying to like change this blonde into a more vibrant color, and I got my Pravana Vivid color, um, color silk Vivids in the mail. Yay! And um, I have previously looked at other videos with people using the Pravana brand, and I've only heard good things. It gives you like a good um, degree of color, and it lasts a pretty good amount of time. Um, that's one of the things that is hard to find, like a good color, but it needs the color not washing out and it's not lasting. So, yes, these are the Chroma Silk Vivids by Pravana. I got these from Image ImageBeauty.com, and I want to say they're like eight dollars a piece. Um, shipping wasn't that bad either. So I have the red out of the Vivids have the red and I also have the wild orchid so I'm gonna be mixing these in um, to make a create a color I didn't want to do just red I didn't want to do just like a, a purple shade so I'm just gonna mix these I saw a girl in another video mix the two and I really like how it came out on her hair so I'm gonna be doing that um, and the directions are inside the box. So I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all what the tubes of color look like. They look like this. They're pretty good size. Um, they're each three ounces, which is a pretty good amount. I thought I might have to buy more than this, but this seems good. I don't think I really understand how excited I am for this color. <laughs> like, I'm so excited. So right go ahead now. and get y'all feel. This is before, honey. This is before. Another thing I want to mention about using more professional colors is that they benefit your hair as well as color it. Because um, uh, the Chroma Silk is, um, you know, it has silk in it and it has the keratin protein um, so that's another reason why I really think this is going to be an awesome choice um, for my hair so this is what it's looking like with just the red and I'm going to go ahead and add the um, the all right, wild guys, all right, all right, all right. this is the colors how they look separated I'm going to go ahead and Start it up and show you what the color looks like after that. This color looks so fucking good, y'all. Like, it looks like love. Okay, that's what it looks like. So mixing, mixing, mixing. It came out it's like this color. Ooh, yes. Looks like barbecue sauce, but um, yeah, it smells really good. Um, actually, it smells a perfumey kind of smell. Um. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start applying this to my hair. Okay, y'all, I'm feeling this color. As soon as I put brush to hair, I was in love. But anyway, um, I'm done distributing distributing the color throughout my hair. Um, I'm guessing this is just what it's going to look like once I rinse it out. I hope it doesn't change once I rinse out the color. I do want to add that I almost was this close to run out of color. So I want to suggest that if your hair is past, my hair is about little past shoulder length if your hair is past shoulder you definitely want to get if your hair is thick then you definitely want to get at least three tubes of color um yeah because i was about to be looking crazy but i actually just like squeezed a little bit that was left in the tube and you know i made it work so i had just enough left over from my tubes um to make enough for this little front part because i was about to be out of color Hey, so I'm 
done i shampooed it i'm about to put the conditioner in now i just wanted you guys to kind of see the color um right after i finished rinsing it out it looks really really good really rich my hair is not super draw dry it doesn't feel like straw or oh anything like that my, my trust my naturals and i'm probably gonna let this sit in my hair for at least an hour just to bring some you know some moisture back to my hair and also when i shampooed my hair i did it with cold water um just so my my hair cuticle cuticle just so my hair cuticle could seal in the color um and it closes up and you know keeps the color longer and doesn't rinse out as much of the you know the dye you just did all right guys let this sit in there for a good hour with a plastic cap and i'm probably gonna put some um sit under my hooded dryer for about 10 minutes of the hour just the first 10 minutes just to really make sure to open my cuticle back up to allow moisture in and then I'm going to rinse the conditioner out with cold water to seal my cuticle back up and hold the moisture in all right Bye guys. all right so I just rinsed out my conditioner and my hair is super soft um you know my curls look the same everything looks pretty good um so I'm gonna go ahead and put the good twist in my hair okay so my hair is 100 but most of my hair is all, all the way dry um and the thicker parts a little damp but not too much so I'm gonna put some olive oil on my hands as usual and um put it over my twist even though I already have <clears throat> oil on my ends I like to put it on before I take out my twist as well my hair is really soft right now and all I used for my twist was my Shea Moisture um, the leave-in conditioner and um, olive oil and the Shea Moisture um, Okay guys, so um, actually it's the end of the day for me. So this is what my twist out is looking like. At the end of the day, I would have recorded it earlier, but my video camera ran out of space on the memory card. But yeah, it's very vibrant and cute. I got a lot of compliments on it today. People like see really seem to like it because it's so different. Whatever. So yeah, all I did was um was a little bit messed up now. But all I did was like pin one side back and kind of wear it like this. It was a little fuller. I've been laying on it, so it's a little fuller. At first I had to get used to it because I was like, oh snap. You know what I'm saying? It's really different. But um, you know, once I once I, you know, start playing around with it, I really liked it. So New hair colors always take a little bit of getting used to. You either really love it at first or you just like, um, I don't know. Yeah, so I really dig how it came out today. It's cute. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please your leave your comments, questions, and any thoughts you have down below. Make sure that you click subscribe and that you share this video. Thank you. Bye.